Happy game day, everyone. We do have some questions to go through and also my tips for the week and where I'm at. And for my tips, it didn't move too much across the, the three groups that I'm following here, the private group, my family tipping comp, and then the open one as well. And just a little shout out to Heath that's currently in the lead of the private group there with Brad Hotney Seals, two points behind, but 43 points in margin behind there as well. And congrats to James, actually outdoing me on the margin. I thought I've, I've done really well on the margin side of things and he's got me by one point and 13 on the margin as well. So sitting in fourth and it's gonna take a miracle to win this one. So good stuff to Heath and Brad up top in that one there. In terms of my tips then, I'm one behind in my family tipping comp, which is the one that really, really, really matters to myself and I am just ahead on margin. So that's gonna be pretty interesting there. But for the first game of the week, Eagles up against the Tigers, I'm going Eagles by 18. I think that, uh, yeah, there should be somewhere around that. Tigers will probably score some points and Eagles will get the job done. Doggies up against the Warriors. This is the one that I am tempted to have a play around with given it's going to be SJ's last game at home. That stadium's going to be rocking. But the Dogs have been playing great and that's my my concern there. Obviously on the ladder, 13 and 8 for the Dogs and 8 from eight and 13 for the Warriors there. So that's the one I might change, but currently I've got the Dogs slotted in there in that one. For the Broncos, no Walsh, but everyone else is, and, and no Haas, obviously, but Eels didn't play very good last week. Will they bounce back, or will we see, will we see them struggle as well, just like they did last week? But, um, yeah, Broncos at home should be too good. Panthers away. Raiders weren't very good. Panthers should get the job done. Storm against the Dolphins, just playing too good at the moment. I think everyone's going to get a rest next week, so it could be a last little push before they get that rest. Knights up against the Bunnies, a little bit of a tougher one as well. Knights didn't play incredible last week. They were trying to give Sharkies the win. But before that, in that first half, they played a really good half footy and got to a nice lead. And I do think that that's, uh, this is a slightly lesser opponent in the Bunnies right now, who obviously got done by the Tigers as well. So they'll be wanting to bounce back, but I do expect the Knights to have a decent showing here and get the win. Roosters up against the Titans. Makes sense. The Titans have fallen off a little bit after that good couple of games. And then I'm actually tempted to here to go for the Dragons at home against the Sharks. Even with Trindle back, they were kind of struggling a little bit with him there before he got you know the couple of week injury. And the Dragons are in some decent form. So Dragons at home against the Sharks might be the play for me this week to try and steal one back. Either that one or the Waz up against the Dogs. But I do think the Dogs are probably playing a little bit too good at the moment. To, to miss out on that win. But um, I do think it'll be a lot closer than some people may think. So that's my tips for the week. And then we'll just get through a few of the, the questions on YouTube as well. But it's a, a reminder guys that next year, all of my Q and A's will be from the private group given it's getting a, a little bit bigger, which is awesome. There's lots of questions in there and I'm gonna answer their private questions on this channel here, uh, on the yeah on the channel here. And then They'll, um, they'll get have early access to the video and then this video will come out on a, on a Thursday as well, but with their questions there. So yeah, that's where a lot of the, if you want some one-to-one -one help through the questions here, I'll be answering the private group crew. As I just got a little bit too much this year with answering everyone across the board. So finding it hard to do that now, but is Murray a good captaincy option assuming he plays 80 at lock? Yes, pretty simple. At that one, he's one of the best options this week. Good chat from Alex, thanks Dan. Pete says, I'm Jamie Brown from the uh, from the Mixer crew. Love that. Good work, Pete. Burton and Dogs players getting rested. Not likely. I don't think it's likely. They're going to try and get a, a home final, but it's still a, a decent chance. Pete says, great info, Jamie. Thank you. Thoughts on Captain Garrick? Solid. Solid for sure, but risky. Like, what are the chances of him to get, like, 80, I suppose, is the, is the question there. Whereas the other guys, they could go bigger. And he also has three concussions this year and could be away from that. Uh, scoop there, fun fact. Karaz has also averaged 56 since Hutchison stopped refusing to give him the ball. Sexton has been much better for him. Completely agree. Love that. Thank you. They've gone that side more often. And then I think Crichton being on that right, to be fair, since Crichton comes back, that's been a massive thing as well. What's a big upgrade for my head-to-head? -head? Starling to Cook or Brown slash Foggs to Burton? Um, first option, I think for sure. Starling, if he continues low, then then him for sure. Liam says, using my last two trades on Cleary and Sorensen, 1.47 million. Who would you target? Position doesn't matter overly, but I would like at least one mid. Yeah, Paddy and DCE is where I'm looking at. Paddy Murray works well. Paddy and Turbo, Murray and Turbo, any of those. Um, check video, video. 
Uh, rank 16th with just the one trade left. Good stuff, Trent. DC, Plath and Gray, my halves. Would you grab Burton to have the extra cover or go for Dylan Edwards? Have Teddy, Drinky, Garrick, Lomax and Karaz. Uh, go half, Burton. Burton, thank you. Carrigan or Murray. Carrigan, personally, 50-50 though. You'll see in my trades video. Burton or Preston for run home. Burton, Farnworth or Fermore. Maybe fun. I feel like he's got the bigger upside potentially. Naughty Alex. <laughs> hey Jamie, play two loop. Uh, play two loop the rest. Braley, Jaden Braley, their hands. Burbo, Marnie, McLean. Also Teddy or Yo a C. I think Yo is a safe one. Teddy's more upside potentially. Yo got 82 last week. I think Braley over hands definitely. And Burbo. I think McLean should have a pretty good score. And then Marnie's probably three at the moment on that list. So play two, maybe play Braley and McLean and then loop Reed Marty. Yeah, I think that's the play. Um, yeah. Hey, Jamie, hope all is good with you. Check video, I'll check that. Check vid. Hope all is good, I'm doing well, thanks. Just wondering who would you trade Cleary to? Teddy, if you don't have him, or go DC or Paddy, position doesn't matter. All are good, man. Personal preference. Personal pref. Ranked 499 with seven trades. What's the better trade in your opinion? Option one, Cleary and Madison to Murray and Burton. All right, it's all Cleary and Madison. Murray and Edwards, Murray and Cook, Marnie to Murray. Oh, plus Marnie to Murray. I wouldn't go th seven trades. Murray, little, option four. You have too many trades, man. For sure. That's going into the last two weeks with four trades. So 100% do the option four. Hey, Jamie, which option do you like? Johnston to Cle and Cleary to Ponga and Carrigan. Strange and Cleary to Edwards and Carrigan. Maybe Ponga. One, I think. I think Ponga has got a nice three-round three uh, lot of games. Who would you lean towards out of Paddy and Cam? I'm doing Paddy myself. So if you guys are listening to that, you'll know that I'm doing Paddy. I'm saving slash risking my last trade for next round. Cleary to Hines. Hmm. Could do. Do, but you lose out. This week, like if you're going to trade clear out anyway, you may as well get better points now. Faino and Cleary to Yo, Murray, Yo, Carrigan, or Edwards Little in head dead prelim. If you're in head dead prelim, make sure it's Yo. One or two. Make sure you get, yeah, Nico's not available, brother. Appy and Cleary to Carrigan and DC. I reckon Yo, captain for me. Yep, yep, yep. Cleary to Yo as last trade of the season with DC as captain this week. Lovely. Thinking Cleary and Drinky. For Murray and Edwards or Burton, that's fine. That is fine. He's clearly to Murray and Watson to DCA. Good moves. Leave me one trade left for the last two rounds. Yes. Slash can just do do the one. Cleary to Murray. Yes. Current for Carrigan or Murray and Sharp for Teddy. Murray for current for Carrigan. Just hold current. Hold hold current probably. Likely. But up to you. I'm liking the look of Hunt next to Bird for the rest of the season. Yeah, he's doing good. Doing good. Very salty. I'm not sure what I did, but sorry, Dan. Two trades, three out this week. That's okay. The beauty of beauty, beauty of 25 players, eh? In Supercoach. I want to get either Edwards or Tesco as a head to head pod, but worried about resting with no trades left. Should I just make the safe play? Just get either DC, Turbo, or Murray. Um. Yeah, either is either is sweet. There's no real clear answer on that one. Like you don't know who's gonna rest. All could go, all could go big this week. To be fair, is Eastern Strange to sell? Yes, 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 yes. DC or Carrigan for Cleary, either, either man, fifty fifty. They're all they're all good picks. Uh, last two. Hey, Jamie, should I use my last two trades on Carrigan plus Mario to spike Carrigan? Go one. I've got four trades. I'm going Cleary to DCE and hands to Carrigan. Still have Marnie and Starling in my hooker, which is down for maybe Marnie plus someone to cook next week. Yeah, that could work. Cool. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Just keep it nice and short and sharp. There's not a lot of people in here uh, watching outside of the buy, hold, risk, sell. So keep it simple. And um, thanks for still tuning in. Thanks for commenting in. You're all legends and uh, I'll catch you in my trades video not too, in, in not too long.